What's up guys? Jerry with Custom Gear Modifications. Uh, so real quick, we wanted to run through the, uh, the uh, MS2V with you. It's a modular saddle suspender sporting vest. Um, this is just another rendition of a modular vest. These things have been around since World War II. Uh, we do typically tend to draw off of our military experience on some of the stuff we come out that you guys have noticed. Um, it is just one of those things. Modular vests have been around forever and I doubt there's any configuration that hasn't been done before. So we ain't claiming nothing new here, but this one is our version. Uh, this one is actually designed to be a saddle suspender, but it also works as a standalone vest. You can use it for turkey hunting, um, fishing, camera hanging, scouting, um, paintball, just about anything you want to use it for. Um, different configurations, different packs and pack and, uh, and pouches you can put on it. <clears throat> but we're going to talk to talk about kind of some of the main features of it right now. I've been asked a lot of questions on how it's all set up and thought we'd go over that. So I'm going to step in front of the camera here and show you guys what this guy's all about. All right, so obviously you have the two PALS panels, uh, four rows of PALS on each panel uh, that wraps around to the side. So you can actually put pouches all the way from uh, the back of the side around to the front. Same thing here, back of the side around to the front. You have two mesh pockets that also wrap around in the front with elastic bands up top. The idea with those elastic bands is that you can actually put a phone in there and it holds it in place. And the mesh actually lets you operate the phone from inside of it. So that'll fit in there and hold up. But you can put other stuff in there too. I keep my... Uh, I keep my uh, retrieval line and my gear hauler in it but we also figured out that you can tuck milkweed in this back corner and this is the same mesh we use on our milkweed uh, pouches so you can tuck milkweed back here and pull it out plenty porous enough porous enough to get a hold of it uh, we have the beastie d rings up here in the top but it also comes with two molly slider mounted beastie d rings that you can put anywhere on these PALS panels so that you can hang your bino harness. Four points for your bino harness and it's adjustable to fit wherever you want to. If you don't use a bino harness, these come anyways. You can turn them into any one of these and use them as gear hangers, uh, however you want to use them that comes with those. Uh, inside both sides, <clears throat> we have a large mesh pocket. This is that TP21 mesh, very strong mesh. Um, you can keep some stuff in there. The material is a super light uh, padded material about halfway up on this side and then the exterior is Cordura 500D or Amerisuede depending on what uh, camo pattern or what pattern you order from us these are going to be like anything else we make they're made per order on this vest we're going to start out doing 10 a week um, we're going to we're going to have our quantity at 10 a week you order them we make them we get them out next week we'll load it back up for 10 it's not something that's going to be mass produced. They're made here in the USA. As a matter of fact, they're made right there. So I can tell you exactly where they're made. Um, and we're only going to do 10 a week for now. And then as things pick up, we'll beef up the shop with some personnel and hopefully bump that up. Uh, but that's why we're trying to get an early start. We'll have these on the web page tonight or tomorrow morning. That initial 10 ready to go. These are one size fits most. Uh, you can see this guy's fairly small. But... It's got enough adjustment in it so that a robust fella like myself can fit into it. I'm going to screen this up over here and model my big self so you can see. Right there. Got adjustments on the sides. A lot of adjustment, a lot of usability on this thing. see that these sides wrap around this thing is very form-fitting and that's what we were wanting to do and the reason for that is because a lot of you guys are just going to use this in suspender mode not care about it best mode and use your backpack with it so it's form-fitting you can put your backpack right on top of it um, and rock and roll with it uh, so this is the vest configuration everything is u.s made obviously like i said u.s sourced except for these shoulder pads we really like these little rubber 
uh, shoulder pads. They have a grippy surface on the back end. They're super comfortable, super durable, and they stay in place. Problem is they're made in Vietnam. Everything else is US made. Um, so that's the only thing that's not. So for you guys, that, that's a problem for, I apologize, but haven't been able to find anything good sourced in the US. If you know of something, let us know, and we'll see what we can do about going that route because we'd really love to have everything on here uh, US made and sourced. Um, but so that's your basic configuration for vest for converting it over to saddle It also comes with this little strap here You can disconnect these two bottom uh, Side release on the inside of this you have these slotted bands run that right in there Connect it up So you're back in the vest mode, but now you've freed up these two side release buckles for the saddle and now we'll just put the saddle on why this guy runs around the shop naked all right so the uh the kit also comes with the four molly uh connectors for your saddle that have the uh receiving end for the side relief buckles just connect those guys up You have two forward ones. So ready to rock and roll as a uh, as a saddle suspender. Fully adjustable. You can bring this up and down wherever you need to. Uh, same thing on the sides. So the whole saddle suspender part is adjustable. You'll notice that on the sides, we actually brought these side release buckles. A little rearward on these front panels and that is to accommodate most saddles in their molly somewhere around near the hip um, so that accommodates being able to reach back and get to that first molly um, but it, tend, it actually has a second benefit which means it kind of distributes the load a little bit more towards the shoulder coming straight back into your hip which is really kind of comfortable this thing's nice and comfortable when you have it loaded to walk in and the real idea of it is to get your dump pouches off your saddle if you care to and put them on your put them on the vest itself it makes it a lot more comfortable walking. so that's how it's set up for the saddle suspender um, and it comes the basic kit comes with everything that you've just seen uh, to get it set up for both vest mode and for saddle suspender mode now there's some optional things that you can get for it one of those being the uh, the removable back panel which is a much larger PALS panel. Uh, it's it's a stiffer foam material, but it's not so stiff that it's too rigid. Uh, you can mount platform uh, sticks. We've had uh, the Trophy Line Mission on here. We've had uh, Tethered Predator on here. We've had uh, just about three or four other platforms on here. A whole bunch of different sticks, one sticks. You can mount just about anything to it. It does come with two compression straps. So you have uh, what is it, six rows of pals with the molly loops and at the end of each one you have these little loops that you can use to hook in bungee uh, G hooks or anything else. And the way this works is just like a lot of the military uh, day packs for a rucksack. Um, the old Alice kit had a day pack that you connect up similar to this. But you basically have two loops up here on the top that these G hooks fit into. That rides right up there. So all you have to do is reach up, grab these, and you can pull them off and pull it around front to access your uh, to access your platform and sticks. Uh, one downside that we used to have is if you bend over, this thing's popping you in the head, which was never good, especially if it's under a load. So we've added some G hooks to the sides that you can actually wrap around, connect into the side panel molly loops here or panel or pals loops. And that way it keeps it more secure, more tight to your body, more form-fitting. It's just a better way of doing it. Um, we do have, you know, excuse the tattered ends. This one hasn't been finished up yet, but that's bugging me. Okay. Uh, let me see. Other pouches you can add to it. Um, so, again... 
these loops on these sides here you have your you have your platform sitting here or your sticks you can actually take a pack and this is one of our little day pack here real simple little uh, one main pocket in the front large interior pocket and the G hooks just kind of connect up into these little loops real easy to put on and take off just for carrying a jacket or whatever else you might be carrying that's one of the accessories that we're going to have available. We actually have plans for a lot of accessories to do with turkey hunting, deer hunting, fishing, uh, paintball, all sorts of different things. Uh, something else you can do here that I didn't mention earlier, I'm going to show you. Let me do this first. So this is the uh, game pouch uh, add-on. And basically you can just clip this into your molly loops and what it is is, is a uh it's a it's a game pouch for like turkey pouches or something along those lines uh, i'll put it on here so you can see what it looks like sorry for getting in front of the camera guys You guys will notice that the molly is pretty tight and that's because it's molly it's supposed to be tight if it's hard to get in it's hard to get out that's what we're looking for so that just snaps into your molly panel also works on the small panel that comes with the standard kit not with this upgraded panel uh, you can fold that up you can leave it hanging right there it just keeps it low profile out of your way until you're ready to use it and then when you're ready to use it you just pull this little Undo this little 3 8 buckle. My big meaty fingers can get a hold of it. Put that in your pocket. Drop that away. And it comes with a Molly uh, uh, receiver that this will clip into. And you got a game bucket or game pocket that you can carry your turkey in or whatever it else is just you're carrying in. So that's how that works. It's just one of the accessories that we've got planned for it. Um, oh, something else I wanted to cover with you. Is if you're a guy that uses a... Uh, or if you're a person, sorry, that uses a back band. Then you can actually take your back band. You'll have to pull one of your buckles off. But the same slots are actually designed to be wide enough to fit any of the back bands on the market. It'll actually keep it in place and you can walk in with your back band in place. You just tighten that around the front and that way when you get up, you can just loosen that up, hang it onto your, uh, hang onto your tether carabiner and you're ready to roll. So that is basically it. Uh, if you get in the tree and you want to take your suspenders off, you just have those four connection points to take it off. And again, any of the pouches work. If it's ours, it'll work. If it's somebody else's, it'll work. If it's something you bought off the internet and it's Molly, it'll work. Uh, but we'll also make any pouch you want for it. So just let us know. I carry my 2TC kit on one side. I carry a dump pouch on the other side. Um, all sorts of different options. So that gives you an idea of how this thing's set up, what it's designed for. Again, it's not groundbreaking. Uh, because modular packs and modular vests have been around since World War II, so but just a little bit of a different configuration. Hey guys, thanks for watching.